Israel says its fighter jets struck more than 100 terror targets in the Gaza Strip overnight, killing a key Hamas operative and neutralizing what they called a terror squad that attempted to fire rockets at a jet. The IDF also says its forces struck several Hezbollah targets in Lebanon in response to rockets that were fired from there towards Israel. Hezbollah has voiced strong support for Hamas, sparking fears the war could spread into Lebanon. This, as the United Nations estimates, about a million Palestinians are displaced inside Gaza, including more than half a million people staying in emergency shelters in increasingly dire conditions. Well, ABC's Inez de la Katara is in Jerusalem for more on all this. Inez, we've seen uh, this issue, the Palestinians inside Gaza catching fire uh, across the Middle East, the Arab communities, Muslim communities, not just actually the Middle East, all around the world. Talk to us about that. Hey, James. Yeah, so these are the day of rage protests that uh, Hamas has called for. The first day of rage protest was held last Friday. The, these are protests that are meant to be uh, in support of Gaza in protest of Israeli airstrikes on Gaza. And uh, they called for uh, such protests to be held again today after Friday prayers. And we've seen uh, protests all around the Arab world. So from Jordan to Lebanon to Egypt, uh, Morocco, even as far as Indonesia, Malaysia, Baghdad as well. So, you know, thousands there around the world taking to the streets uh, to protest those Israeli airstrikes. As this is happening, uh, Israeli officials are deciding to shut down, uh, close uh, embassies, temporarily close embassies, I should say, uh, in at least five countries. So Jordan, Morocco and Egypt are among some of those countries. And the U.S. also watching this closely and concerned for its citizens with the U.S. State Department warning Americans abroad to exercise increased caution due to the potential for increased violence. And we should point out that at some of these protests, we are hearing chants of death to Israel. We're also hearing chants of death to America, the U.S. here closely associated to Israel, as we've seen U.S. officials in the region pledging their unwavering support for Israel. And we haven't even seen the beginning of this ground invasion yet. All these protests and uh, the IDF has yet to go into Gaza. Any idea when that's likely to happen? Yeah, so unclear at this point uh, when it comes to the timing of that ground invasion. It does appear to be imminent, but IDF officials are still not commenting on the timing of this invasion. We've seen certainly the troop buildup. We saw the Israeli prime minister, the defense minister, heading uh, to visit troops on the front lines and, and, and deliver speeches that were meant to kind of lift spirits. And today we heard from the defense minister once again, and he gave us a little bit more details as far as, you know, how this is going to unfold. So he said this would be an invasion that would uh, occur in, in three stages. So the first is going to be the Iraq of Hamas. The second will be to eliminate pockets of resistance. And then as far as the third stage, he said it would be the removal of Israel's responsibility for life in Gaza. So I think that's an interesting detail here. Lots of questions as to what's going to happen to the Gaza Strip after this um, expected invasion of the Gaza Strip. And here the defense minister is saying that they do not plan to stay in, in the Gaza Strip. Already so much death in Gaza. We'll see what this ground invasion looks like. ABC's Inez de la Qatar in Jerusalem. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.